We've just recently had GPT-4 come out and also Midjourney version 5. Now today I want to look if it is possible to actually combine these two AIs and whether or not this is indeed the future of illustration, photography and animation. Building the prompts in GPT-4 is in the file down in the description. Just hit download and copy and paste those prompts into GPT-4. No sign up bullshit or anything like that. The file is down there for you free to use. So to start off with, I'm going to tell GPT-4, we're going to create images with a diffusion model. I'm going to feed you some information about it. Do you understand? GPT-4 responds with, yes, it understands. Brilliant. Now, I'm going to give it additional information here around how Midjourney actually works. And this is information that is freely available on Midjourney's website. So I went over to Midjourney's website just to get a bit of a basic overview of how Midjourney works. I copy and paste that over so that GPT-4 actually understands how Midjourney works. And it goes into there about the machine learning processes, the latent diffusion models around it, the diffusion models, and just gives it some basic fundamental understanding for GPT-4 to understand. Remember, we're working with a generative model here. So that means it doesn't just understand the texts, but it can actually contextualize the information that you're giving it. Still, it's bloody powerful. It's unbelievable. Again, I ask, do you understand? We don't want a response here. And GPT-4 says that it understands. Brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Then I go into detail around what version 5 of Midjourney is all about. So what is Midjourney version 5 about? Much wider stylistic range and more responsive, much higher image quality, more detailed images, etc, etc. All of this information copied over into GPT-4. Again, I say, do you understand? We don't want a response here yet. And it understands. Great stuff. It's exactly what we want. Then we go into the basic parameters and aspect ratio of mid-journey. We talk about the chaos, the quality, the seed, the stop, the style, and the stylization. Do you understand? Yes, it understands. Brilliant. It's exactly what we want. Then it goes into compatibility. We're just feeding it as much information as possible. Do you understand? It understands. Great. Now I'm going to give it some examples of prompts you prompts used in version 5. Do you understand? We don't want to respond. We just want you to respond to understand the information that we're giving you. We're still building on it. We're still building on this foundation. Giving it some extra layers. We're now at layer number 4. And I give it some examples around how a good prompt looks like. So in the prompt, we talk about the ISO setting on the camera. We're talking about the shutter speed. We're talking about the aspect ratio. We're talking about version 5. Very important to include that version 5. We're giving it a few prompts here to digest and see what a good prompt looks like. And, and GPT-4 responds with, thank you for providing the examples of the prompts used in Midjourney version 5. We still don't want a generated prompt from GPT yet. So now I ask, would you say you understand how Midjourney works? Yes or no? And it responds with, yes, it understands how Midjourney works. Brilliant. Excellent. So now I'm going to go into more detail around some prompts that really gets additional and colorful information out of Midjourney. But wait, I'm not done yet. I'm going to give it some more examples around prompts. Again, we want to build as many layers as possible without getting a response out of GPT yet. So thank you for providing the examples from a journey. Brilliant. And I go further. We built one more layer for GPT-4. I'm giving it six prompts in total about the aspect ratio, about the camera lens that we, that we use, about the camera setting, about the camera type that we are using six prompts in total this is brilliant that we want and gpt responds with it now understands the prompts and how mid journey also works which is great now here's where the magic starts i'm going to ask it great now i want you to act as a professional photographer illustrator 
and animator. Very important. You will use a rich and descriptive language when describing your photo prompts. Include camera setups. The first prompt I want you to create is a photo of a Disney process princess playing in a field of grass. Take inspiration from the formatting from the example prompts. Don't copy them, but use the same format. And this is the prompt that we are going to copy over to Midjourney. But let's quickly look at this prompt. So, a magical and an enchanting photograph of a beloved Disney process. And this prompt is brilliant because version 5 of Midjourney understands these texts much better compared to previous version so you can talk to it in a more natural language basically it goes in the princess's flowy flowing gown billows around her as she twirls capturing the essence of carefree spirit and joy joyous laughter it talks about the camera setup the lens that's going to be used the full stop that's being used brilliant so let's copy this over into mid journey so over in mid journey let's get our prompt in there beautiful so we paste it in and let's see what we get out of this i'm really looking forward to see what midjourney version 5 can do with gpt's formatting wow just look at that that is absolutely phenomenal I've played around with this for a bit now, but every time I do something like this, it just blows me away. That is remarkable. Let's analyze the photo here a little bit more. Let's go to the top left hand side. You can see how the camera is set out. So you've got this blur effect in the background. I mean, if we go over to the right hand side, how the background just blurs out and your model is in the, the middle of the picture hands are beautiful excellent that really is remarkable wow now i want to play around with a few more ideas here so let's go with a german soldier in 1945 okay so just copy that last prompt right and i want you to act as it did and what we want is a German soldier in 1945. So it's saying a haunting and powerful photograph of a weary German soldier in 1945 standing amidst a devastated landscape of Stalingrad. This is going to be absolutely brilliant. All right, so let's take this prompt over to Mid Journey. And let's see what we get out of this. Oh, I think this is going to be absolutely remarkable. So the previous one was more of a, a fantasy setting, but real life. Now this one's going to be World War II. I'm expecting that this will be brilliant. Okay, here we go. Wow, just look at that. I mean, it looks like a, a recolorized photo from world war ii and really it's hard to it's really hard to say that this is an ai generated image all four of them and it looks and the devastation that's being portrayed there in the background is great it really does capture that period of time and it's complete and utter desperation during world war ii in stalingrad wow that's really remarkable okay the last one that i want to do is a cyberpunk model so again we paste in our previous prompt to give instruction to gpt to create a prompt and not a civil head john wick but rather a cyberpunk model let's see what it generates prompt a mesmerizing and futuristic portrait of a cyberpunk model standing amidst the neo-lit street of a sprawl sprawling technologically advanced city mm. okay <laughs> let's copy that over into mid journey okay let's see what we get out of that prompt 
the F setting on the camera really makes a big difference. I mean, just look at the bokeh in the background of the cyberpunk model that we have on the left hand side. And then the way that the model is looking back at us, I mean, this would easily be some of the best artwork out of cyberpunk. And it would have taken some of those illustrators hours to complete. And a quick few prompts within mid within GPT-4, I was able to create these exceptional outputs to get into Mid Journey version 5, and I'm getting these fantastic, fantastic pictures. I mean, just look at that. Like it knows it all it's almost like it's played the game. I mean, if you look at the cyber modifications to the models. Um, it really is fascinating. That really is remarkable. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, those prompts are free to use down in the document below. Just download it. Um, it's free to use, so you don't have to sign up to anything like that. And play around with it. It's so such a powerful tool. Um, it's really remarkable. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.